Yes, it does. And also a scanner. If you already know how it works, please jump to the next chapter. Grab your phone or tablet, create a new note and take a look at the toolbar. You see a camera icon, tap it. From here you can choose from two options. Well, two and a half. If you just aim to what do you want to take a picture and tap the shooter, you take a picture. But if you pay close attention, you notice that there are two options next to the shooter, auto and photo. The auto option is for scanning. More on that in a moment. Yes, of course you can use an image that you already have in your camera roll, but you have to choose a different option. Instead of tapping the camera, tap the plus icon and then image and select whatever image you want from your gallery. And since we are talking about the camera roll, there is an option to save pictures only in Evernote or in Evernote and in your camera roll. Open Evernote settings, then go to the camera option and you see a switch. If you turn it on, all the pictures you take with Evernote will also be saved in your camera roll. Okay, let's start by reducing the steps of the camera workflow. Go to the settings again, but now choose the create button. You see several options here. It doesn't matter the style you choose in any of them. You can select more actions to have in the create button. For now, please select at least the options camera and scan. And here's a tip within a tip. If you select the split style, you see that the button is divided in two parts. You have the plus new note and also an arrow pointing up. If you tap the arrow, you'll see the options you select, but if all you want to do is create a note, just tap new note. I love this option and this is the one I use. Okay, back to the camera tip. From now on, you don't need to open or create a new note and then select the camera icon. Just tap the button and choose the camera or the scan. Last steps is always good, right? Well, we can do even better using the action bar widget. It's available for Android and iOS. So choose the widget action bar and one of the options is the camera. From now on, all you have to do is look at the action bar, find the camera and tap the icon. Another tip within a tip, but this time only for Android users. You can customize the icons, the, the actions you have in the action bar. When you add the widget, you see a pop-up window where you can select the icon. If you want to do this afterwards, just tap the settings icon and change the icons. By the way, I forgot to mention, you can also select the target notebook. All the notes created from this widget will go to that notebook. Before saving the picture, you can tap the, the thumbnail, the lower part of the screen, or the pencil icon to rotate. You can also crop the image and, if it's the case, delete it. You can also edit an image in the future, just tap it and then select the icon with the letter A inside a circle and you see the crop and rotate icons, but you can also annotate this image. There are several options here that you can use. If this video has been useful so far, if you are enjoying all the tips, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Let's talk about paper. As usual, this is just my opinion. There are two things I don't like. First, paper is not searchable. If you're using a paper notebook, your notes will be all over the pages. And I guess at least here you can agree with me. It's really hard to find information. You have to go through all the past pages to find it. 
if you find it at all. And here's another problem. It's impossible to make space to insert new ideas, new information on parts of the text that you have already written. And this happens all the time. Uh, you have an insight during, I don't know, uh, when you are taking notes or during a presentation. No matter how much that person prepares itself, some ideas, some new information will come up during the presentation that are related to past information. And in my case, that's really important. It helps me in the future when I'm going through the notes, everything is organized. I think that's why I like to take notes using software. I can always make space and insert that information, that idea, that insight in the appropriate position in the text. However, in the end, we are all different and that's great. So if you are a paper lover, you can use Evernote Scanner to scan your, I don't know, your notes, your drawings. It will preserve them for the future and you'll be able to search that information. Yes, Evernote will search your handwritten notes. But it has to be understandable, okay? There's no magic here. So let's go back to the camera. Now use the auto mode. Point it to the document you want to scan. You see a green box. Uh, it, this is the scanner trying to figure out the borders of the document. You don't have to do anything here. Just stay still and Evernote will take that picture. From now on, your notes are searchable and that picture, that scan has today's date and time. It's like a journal. If you're trying to scan a document like a passport that doesn't stay open, try using a glass over it. You can use a portrait glass and take your picture. By the way, there is a video here on the channel where I explain how I organize and find and quickly find all my personal documents in Evernote. Okay, let's go to the whiteboard because it also works there. The steps are the same, just select the auto mode and Evernote will try to figure out the borders and take a picture or scan the whiteboard. The auto mode will also auto detect business cards. It will create a special note with fields for name, phones, email, and other information from the business card. And of course, you can edit that, tap the pencil icon to edit the fields. When scanning a business card and also a document or your notebook, it is a good idea to have a contrasting background. And if you hold the phone tilted like this, the document is here, it's better for the scanner to detect the borders. And don't worry, Evernote scanner will compensate and scan the document in the right proportions. Did you notice the little box, the drop down menu below the document you are scanning? There is photo, color document, black and white document, post it note, and business card options. Sometimes Evernote will not get it right. All you have to do is select the correct one. The problem I usually have here is with small notes. The Evernote scanner thinks, the scanner doesn't think, <laughs> that that is a business card and it tries to fill the fields of a business card in that special note, but it's not gonna work. So all you have to do is just change the type of document to let's say color document or black and white document or even photo. Other times I change the option from color to black and white document just because I, I think it looks better. It's unclear to me why the post-it option still exists. All it does is create a better looking image of the post-it. In the past, Evernote would have this special post-its. It was really cool. You could set colors to trigger actions. For example, add a tag, add a to-do, or I, if I remember correctly, you could even select a notebook for a special color. Let's say the yellow color will always go to, the, to this notebook and have this tag. It was really amazing. I don't think that's coming back. So I don't understand why this option still exists here. Android users have an extra widget that I love. It's like the action bar, 
but it's in the format of an app icon. It's just an icon. You can select any of the actions and also select the target notebook. In my case, I have the camera action in that icon. I love it. <laughs> to learn how to organize your documents in Evernote, watch this other video. And to learn how to be more productive with Evernote, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.